but Saeed is coping admirably. John Coyne's first outing in the Manta 400 is proving somewhat fraught. Back inside the other Manta, Austin Fraser is relying now heavily on ice notes. He's now up to second place and knows that if McRae makes just one mistake, the British Championship could be his. Back to McRae, who makes a mistake and spins out, but loses relatively little time. But one more mistake like that in a more difficult place, and the Championship Flat could go to Auricula. Right, maybe 50. Flat left to bump, 120. Medium left. Enric Xargay, al volant del seu Renault 5 GT Turbo, o el tant de Martorell Bou amb Peugeot 309 GTI. La pluja i el mal temps van afegir una especial duresa al ral·li, que va tenir les incidències normals de les virolles, sortides, tocs... Titans on round, and slight left, jumper will finish. Just reverse it over, son. Reverse it over the line. Oh, okay, just, just drop a straight back now. So as Middleton reversed over the finish line at that stage, the rest of the cars came to the finish in Douglas, under the same blue skies that they'd left three... Malcolm Wilson was reasonably content to be third. He'd had a couple of heart-stopping moments in the last few stages, including a nosedive over a fast jump that nearly dug the Sierra's nose into the ground permanently, and a spin on Dolby 2, which effectively ensured that second place was out of his reach. Though, it truthfully had been ever since he'd lost it to McRae. Chris Burke to get the power down on the way out. And watch Franco Cunico, his Q8 Sierra already banana shaped after losing an argument with a tree when the throttle jammed open, but the Italian still driving with his usual flair and commitment. Neither of which are words Franco Cunico can spell or pronounce. His English is as experimental as his driving. Following Malcolm Wilson through the forest, David Llewellyn continued an untouchable run, second on the road but leader second slower on the short opening stage than Francois Chantriot. James Cullen starts with number nine on the side of the Sierra and that familiar pink livery. A spin early in the day cost him a little bit of time. Kenny McKinstry was the highest seeded